forward to our stage at this time. And if we can get the rest of the LCA Lady Eagles over to be part of the show as well. Let's go, ladies. Let's go, ladies. Carmen Downing, Camille Downing, please come on over. Grace Henry, bring them on over. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turner Field on the beautiful campus of Lexington Christian Academy for tonight's girls varsity soccer game featuring the East Jessamine Lady Jaguars and your LCA Lady Eagles. Tonight is senior night for LCA girls soccer. At the end of the season, six seniors will complete their high school soccer careers. So tonight, we will honor each of them and their families in what promises to be an emotional pregame ceremony. But before we get started, our sincere thanks to our parents for helping organize this, especially our junior parents, to the LCA, LCA cheerleading squad for creating our traditional senior hoops, and to the dance team for being with us to assist in our ceremony. And like always, a big thank you to the athletics department, headed by Terry Johnson, for all it has done to make our home games off the field a tremendous success. To our six seniors this evening, I'm sure it seems like quite the ride the past four years at LCA. For the parents, I'm sure they think it was only yesterday that they were dropping their child off for tryouts as young freshmen. For some, I'm sure the memories of the YMCA League 13 or 14 years ago are as vivid today as they were then. So without further ado, let's make more lasting memories and pay tribute to the end of one chapter for six young Christian women and celebrate the impending start of six bright futures to come. Joining us on the field to assist in this special occasion are the following, varsity head coach Steve Fugman, Coach Fugman's assistants, Casey Greer, Jake Pagregan, Stephanie Lovely, and Kaylee Jacoby. And also in the house, two important members of the staff, Coach Brian Ray and Andrew Carlson. Ladies and gentlemen, these young ladies have much to celebrate over the past four years. As freshmen, Members of this class were crowned the 2012 All-A Champions. For the first time since then, they led the Lady Eagles back to the All-A Championship game just yesterday. Without question, the leadership by these seniors have returned respect, pride, and a wealth of excitement to the LCA soccer program. As you know, LCA competes in the toughest region in the state, the 11th region and arguably the most competitive district in the state, the mighty 43rd. These young ladies you're about to meet have led LCA with great Christian spirit, competitive drive, and endless determination. They will be remembered as one of the most beloved senior classes this program has produced. Henry Beecher, a reverend, once said, Children are the hands by which we take a hold of heaven. You'll see from this class, LCA has truly been enriched by these Christ-like young ladies. So ladies and gentlemen, let's meet these seniors, the senior class of 2015-16 for the Lexington Christian Academy, Lady Eagles. Our first senior, our first senior is the second Dobbs to play at LCA, but not the last, not with the sophomore brother Tyler on the boys team and little brother Andrew is an up and coming sixth grader. She's been a starting midfielder for the past two years and a key leader for LCA's resurgence. Ladies and gentlemen, number nine, Rebecca Dobbs. Escorted tonight by fellow senior Joe Sternberg, Rebecca is described by her teammates as one of the most loving, supportive, and outgoing girls on the squad. A hard worker, she's always quick to compliment others, pick up those who are down, and offer a word of encouragement to all. She's been playing soccer for 14 years, and played her club soccer here at CSC. And her favorite memories at LCA include the big wins over Scott County last year and Tate's Creek this year, and of course, 
running through the sprinklers at practice on her 18th birthday just a few weeks ago. Tonight, we've asked each of our seniors for advice they would pass along to their younger teammates. And Rebecca's advice is to work hard no matter what. The running will never get any easier. Focus on building friendships and relationships on and off the field. Always be a team player. Encourage one another. Smile and make people laugh. It's contagious. Rebecca's favorite Bible verse is the following. Joshua 1.9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. It goes without saying that we will miss Win it, Rebecca! Echoing from the press box next season. So with plans to attend the University of Kentucky next fall, join me in welcoming her parents, Mark and Jennifer Dobbs, along with siblings Brooke, Tyler, and Andrew, our first senior, Rebecca Dobbs. <laughs> According to her father, our next senior contemplated giving up soccer her senior year. Count Coach Fugman and the rest of the Lady Eagles among the many who are thankful she made the decision to play. Ladies and gentlemen, a senior outside defender, number 11, Michaela Mitchell. Tonight, fellow senior Wyatt Sabad is serving as Michaela's escort. Michaela has played soccer for the past 12 years, including at a high level at Le Lexington FC. If there were an award for consistency, she'd be the far and away winner. Always steady, Michaela is a fierce competitor on the back line, but quick to convert to offense when given the chance. Here at LCA, her most memorable soccer moment was the big victory over Tate's Creek in double overtime earlier this season. That was the lone win over what has been a dominant championship Commodores program during their tenure. Michaela's advice to the team is simple. High school soccer will be over before you know it. So don't wish your time away. Cherish each and every moment, both the good and the bad, because they both play an equal role in shaping who you become. Don't listen to anyone who tells you that you're not good enough, because as long as you think you can accomplish something and you work hard for it, you can do whatever your mind you set your mind to. Michaela's favorite Bible verse, 1 Corinthians 13, 2. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not love, I am nothing. Michaela has been just as impressive off the field as she has been on it. This summer, she participated in the prestigious Governor's Scholar Program and plans to stay in state for college and major in international diplomacy with sights on becoming a lawyer and maybe even a politician with a goal of someday working at the United Nations. Here's hoping she makes that all happen. Ladies and gentlemen, please join her proud parents, Doug and Shirley Mitchell, Sister Sophia, and Victoria in welcoming our second senior of the evening, Michaela Mitchell. Our next senior combines beauty, speed, and a great sense of humor. She was missed terribly this season when she suffered a thigh injury against Tate's Creek and missed the next two weeks. But she's back now, though, and better than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome number 15, Peyton Nagel. Tonight, Peyton is escorted by Sean Hope. Peyton has played soccer for 12 years, playing in KYSL, LFC, and CSC, and of course, all four years for LCA. Despite the injury this season, Peyton has had one of her best seasons as a Lady Eagle, totaling four goals and four assists this season, including a goal in both the quarterfinal and championship games this past weekend of the All-A. The double overtime win over Tate's Creek also goes down as one of her favorite memories, along with all the personal stories the team shared during the trip to Zionsville, Indiana, over Labor Day, none of which will be repeated here at this time. She leaves sound advice for this young squad. Quote, I'm so grateful to have met each and every one of you guys. Thank you for making my senior season one to remember. Continue to play for each other and as a team, and you will all go far. Always be positive and hold yourself and others accountable. You each have a special place in my heart. I love you guys. Her favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 5, 6. With all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Always let him lead you, and he will clear the road for you to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, she hopes to study sports therapy in college. Please, please join me in welcoming her parents, 
Bob and Deborah, along with Brother Taylor, Senior Peyton Nagel. The roster is made up of those who contribute to the team in a variety of ways. Those who can score, those who can defend, those who can cheer, and those who can build unity. Team first. Our next senior exudes that attitude. It's all about the team. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome number 17, Angie Pelay. <laughs> Escorting Angie this evening from the boys' soccer team is fellow senior Brian Davis. Angie has battled a nagging leg injury for most of the season, so her time has been limited on the field, but she's played a large role as a team leader. You can tell she's really enjoyed playing soccer for LCA the past four years, and her highlights includes all the stories the girl shared up in Zionsville earlier this month, as well as making cookies with her fellow seniors. When she hangs up her cleats after this season, she will be hanging them up after 13 years of playing the sports, uh, playing, the, playing the sport, which included time spent at CSC. As one of the most mature seniors you'll ever find, Angie offers the following advice to her teammates she leaves behind. When times get tough in soccer, remember who you are playing for, God and your teammates. Without your team, nothing matters because soccer cannot be played alone. High school flies by, so cherish every moment. I will always remember Coach Pagregan's quote, if you can't get out of it, get into it. Get into the game you love and give it your all. I love you girls, and I will miss you. Her favorite Bible verse is also Pro Proverbs 3, 5, 6, to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He will make your path straight. Angie plans to major in hospitality management in hopes of becoming a wedding and event planner. We can all plan to visit her if she makes good on her intentions to attend the University of South Carolina at Beaufort, located in nearby Hilton Head. But ladies and gentlemen, please join her parents, Dave and Sue, in welcoming, welcoming a terrific senior leader, Angie Paleo. <laughs> Our next senior is perhaps one of the most dominating defenders this city has seen in recent years and a terrific team leader to boot. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome number 23, Maddie. Stand back. Escorting Maddie tonight is Will Southall. Maddie has played soccer for the past 11 years, including all four years at LCA. She's also played at CSC and LFC here in Lexington. She's an outstanding center defender whose combination of speed, size, and foot skills are unmatched. And to top it off, she understands the game. Last season as a junior, her outstanding play was recognized widely as she was named All-City by the Lexington Herald Leader. On Saturday morning, this dominant defender scored what we believe to be her first career goal, hitting a PK against Prestonsburg in the quarterfinals of the All-A, and then followed up that night with the clinching PK in overtime as LCA beat Murray in the semifinals. Fairly quiet most days, but always with a quick smile. When she speaks, her teammates listen, and her advice to her younger team members goes as follows. Thank you all for truly being the best teammates and friends I could ever ask for. Just know that your time here flies and you'll be standing where I am before you know it. Always play for each other and with heart. Let yourselves be united by your love for the game, your love for the team, and your love for God. She called the win over Tate's Creek this season a time when every single one of us gave it all we had and truly played for one another. Her future plans include studying biology, perhaps at UK, and someday becoming a physician as she continues to serve God by helping others. Her favorite Bible verse is Romans 12, 3. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome her parents, Bob and Beth Stanback, along with her brothers, Alex and Chase, and give another round of applause for All City, Maddie Stanback. Our final senior this season debated on whether she would play her final season, and as it turned out, she not only played, but filled a key role for the Lady Eagles. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a senior outside midfielder, and without question, the coach's favorite player, number 13, 
Warren Feedman. Tonight, Lauren will be escorted by her little brother, Will Feedman. It goes without saying that Lauren knows soccer. She's played for 10 years, including the time spent playing at LFC and all four years here at LCA. On the field, she's like your favorite snack food, sweet and salty, tough as nails one minute, but battling an opponent, lifting your teammates up the next with encouragement. Like the other seniors, her most memorable moment was beating Creek this season. Lauren's favorite Bible verse is Psalm 1914. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Her advice to her teammates, well, it's more gratitude than advice. It reads, I want to thank each of you for making my last season the best one I have ever had. Remember this year and how close we have all become and how much fun it's been and carry this into seasons to come. And a special shout out to my dad. I can't thank you enough for making this season so special for me. I wouldn't trade all these years of soccer with you for anything in the world. I can only hope to become half the person you are. I will always be your little girl. Ladies and gentlemen, she plans to major in dietetics at Western Kentucky University and continue doing missions across the globe. Please welcome her parents, Mom Patty, Dad Steve, Brother Will, Senior Lauren Fugman. We have one more short message to read from Coach Fugman as we get all the parents and players back over in front of the soccer goal at this time for our final group photo. Coach Fusman writes, I can't believe how fast the past four years have gone. I can remember the first time each of you played in your first varsity game. The growth and maturity that has taken place has been a joy to watch. You have all turned into smart, strong, and caring Christian women. I'm very proud to say I get to coach each of you. Thank you for all you do, all your contributions to this soccer program. Ladies and gentlemen, as they get lined up once again in front of the goals, it's, here is your 2015-16 LCA Senior Class of Lady Eagles, Rebecca, Lauren, Michaela, Peyton, Angie, and Maddie. Now, before we conclude our pregame ceremony, we have one more special presentation. Yesterday afternoon, this group of seniors led LCA back to its rightful place, the All-A Championship game. From 2007 to 2012, the team had played in that final game every season. But the past two years, it had left its own invitational too soon. So this weekend, these seniors led the Lady Eagles back to the final game and came up just short of its third All-A title, following the, following the Newport Central Catholic in a tough competitive game. Here to present the 2015 All-A runner-up trophy to this group of seniors, Athletics Director Terry Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, your All-A finalist for 2015 LCA. The All-A Tournament team included senior Maddie Stanback, junior Brooke Tackett, and sophomores Grace Henry in goal, as well as Lexi Sheely. Congratulations, lady, ladies, on a great run to the title game. At this time, we'll take about a 10-minute break, and then we'll line up for the starting lineups, the pregame prayer, and a special performance of the National Anthem. <laughs> 